Okay, here we go. The first thing that I would do is actually measure. And then I would write that down, right? The date and weight, I don't weigh myself very much. So again, it's how my clothes fit. And now I'm doing measurements because I'm doing this, right? The next thing that I would do, like I said, make sure your skin clean, clear. For demonstration purposes today, what I'm showing is the movements that you would make to do the massage pre and also to, to actually do the treatment. What you need to know is that you need to make sure that you're using, of course, clean, clear skin, no breakdown that you've consulted your doctor. If you have any issues you think you need to consult your doctor for, and that also you are comfortable and relaxed. Standing up is the easier way for me to show you. When I first did this, I used to do it lying down also. And that if you're good at, at lying down and doing it, then that's a good thing. But your body kind of needs to be flat. So it's a little bit difficult sometimes to reach down. So standing up is probably something that you might find as an easier thing to do. Lymph massage, again, I'll be sh have another video up for the lymph massage that you'll be able to see. The hydration you're going to do before. Hydrate at least the two liters plus water for at least maybe three or four days before. And then after, in fact, every day, that level of hydration is the way to go and the thing to do. So that would be suggested. So what you would do then is you're going to go ahead and lubricate with um, whether it's aloe gel or jojoba, jojoba oil or any other oil or lubricant that actually your skin likes. And you're going to use the roller, right? This is the wooden roller. And using the wooden roller is basically kind of like to prime your skin. So I'm not doing it really hard because I don't have any lubricant on. I'm just showing you the movements that you would be using. And I'm starting and focusing on the abdomen at this point. That's what we're doing, focusing on the abdomen. So that's why I'm showing you this. I'm not going into extra things at this point. So you're using this one like this. This is the way this works. It's simple and straightforward. There are many other types of rollers that you use in different positions. I'm sure they will come with instructions. So I do this, I do that for approximately five minutes. I would then do this, which is with the little balls on the front, that roll. You can do this in the shower also. And before you even have your, do your treatment. And this is in a circular motion. Of course, make sure again, your skin is lubricated so you're not irritating your skin, you're not scratching your skin, you're not causing any problems to your skin, right? And you're going to go over the areas that you're going to be working on with your treatment. This helps to stimulate the lymph and the blood flow also. Like I said, there'll be a lymph, lymph massage video also. So here we go. You can also use your hands and do the same thing. You have quite a few lymph nodes here in the abdominal area, but there's an order where you do your lymph drainage and you start up here. So I'm going to be doing that video for you. You'll be able to see that. So massaging, right? Again, with lubrication, do not irritate your skin. Now I'm going to show you just for demonstration purposes, the moves that you'll be making when you do the capitation on your abdomen, because, um, this will give you an idea. Again, you're going to need to make sure you have the ultrasound gel. Make sure you have enough of it. Make sure that you know that you have not turned the machine up too high. I would say maybe start with 15 minutes. Start with half strength and start with uh, mode A or B, right? Especially if it's your first time. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to start making circular motions, right? circular motions in the center of your abdomen. And the tutorials I've watched, they say you do that about eight times. So you're doing circular, small circular motions in the center of your abdomen. Do this around your belly button area about eight times. You're then going to go with wider circular motions around your abdomen. And you're going to do that also about eight times, right? You're going to then start doing 
a motion that is going across your abdomen. So what you're going to do is with the hand that you have the probe in or the, the, the handle in, you're going to go the opposite way of your hand. Your hand is massaging the top while you're doing it with the bottom, right? Uh, doing it with the um, ultrasound handle at the bottom. And again, eight times, I would then go higher up. So I catch under here. And again, I used to be much rounder, now I'm much flatter, so it actually looks better. Even though it doesn't look wonderful now, outside, outside of my clothes, it looks better in my clothes because I'm flatter. Like I said, I'm a little bit bloated today for, I don't know what reason, but here you can see it's a little bit higher than it normally is. But again, we're doing this eight times. Once you have done that, you're going to then switch. So the, the handle at the top and at the bottom, you have your hand and you're doing with, you know, enough pressure with your hand and with the probe. Again, you'll be hearing the noise. Remember the noise that you're hearing? So try to keep it moving, right? If it's not moving, lift it up off your skin, then the noise will stop, right? So you're doing this, you're going to widen it out, right? Eight times each one of them, right? And then also, what you're going to do is like this. Eight times. Come from all the way around, right? Eight times. Come from here. Eight times. You're then going to switch and do it with the other hand. Same thing all the way in, eight times, eight times, eight times, eight times, eight times, doing that. Then here, eight times. The top part also. Okay, you're then going to go like this on the side. You're going up on your side. Use the hand underneath. After you've gone up, use your hand to go over the same area. Eight times there. The same thing on the other side. Make sure you do everything the same number of times. I think eight is a simple or straightforward number to count and remember. So you can make sure you do it. You can then do that pattern and continue doing that pattern until your 15 minutes, your 20 minutes is up. And then again, do the pattern, do eight times each. Start again, center here, around, full circle, across, 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 the side, 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 you know, with the hand one side and the, the um, handle the other side, and then side side yeah so that those are the moves that i make for my abdomen right and like i said this used to be more round now it's more flattened out um and i'm working on there two inch i'm two inches down i'm going to continue and see if i can regularly do this every three days keep up with my hydration right and see what will happen now i'm going to show you once you're done with that again wipe off your stomach remember you have all that gel on it that ultrasound gel, right? And the ginger oil. You're going to then go ahead and get this probe, which is going to be red and it's going to be warm. What you're going to do is the same exact movements you did before. Around here, eight times. Around, eight times. Across, back and forth, eight times. The middle, eight times. The top, eight times in from the side in from the sides right with the hand on the opposite doing the opposite eight times in from the sides and then up to smooth up to smooth up to smooth up to smooth eight times right 
So you're going to be doing that, but again, with both of them, keep them moving. This one makes that funny noise and noise gets worse when it kind of is in one spot or sometimes when you lift it off, but you don't lift it off completely, it'll make more noise. This one, this one gets warm. So the, the warm sensation might be uncomfortable. It's not going to burn you, but it may be uncomfortable, but the importance is to keep it moving because you want it to cover as many areas as possible. That's the, the big importance. Again, be careful, no bony areas, not your hip, not your hip, no bony areas, okay? And also not your ribs. Be very careful to be in contact with any area that's bony. This is for over this fatty areas of your body. And again, anybody with any issues that are chronic under the care or medical treatment or medication regularly and routine, the area have any issues with your skin, any open areas, pregnancy or nursing, this is not for you, okay? You need to consult your doctor if you think it might be a possibility, but I would say in general, it's not for you. So again, those are the basic treatments for the abdomen. Main things we will say, hydration, two liters of water plus three to four days prior to beginning this. Lymphatic massage, which you can watch my video on that and see how that is done, as well as lubrication, making sure you have ultrasound gel, making sure that you have the ginger oil, making sure you have jojoba oil so that the different um, things that you're doing, again, sorry, if I didn't say lubrication, lotion, aloe vera gel, those types of things you use with this infrared probe, the warm one, okay? So making sure that you're clean and your skin is not intact, no issues, and that you are well lubricated once you're doing the treatment on your abdomen, right? Also making sure that you continue to drink maybe even more water, maybe three liters of water daily once you're done your treatments for the next three to four days. And then you can ease back down to the two liters of water and then go ahead and do your treatment. They say you can do them every three days. I've never done it in that frequency because I'm kind of busy and also, you know, if I was you, I would actually measure because you can see differences between one treatment and another, I'm sure, maybe slight differences, or you maybe want to wait until you do three or four treatments before you do your next measurement. So again, thank you for joining me and look out for that lymphatic drainage one. That's the next video that um, you need to watch before you actually accomplish or before you actually do a treatment. And again, description box will have the links to all of the um, different items that you, including the machine, that you could possibly need or use. Take care. Bye-bye.